Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about designer shoe dupes and I've done a number of these videos before. They're some of my favorite to film because I do not think that you need to go out and blow your budget on a pair of shoes when you can get some really nice alternatives on the high street or even just from those mid-range brands. So I've got a whole bunch that I wanna talk through, some of which I either own the original or I own the dupe and others that I've just found on the internet. I am gonna also have a corresponding blog post where there's all of these options and more. So I will have that linked in the description box below along with everything that I talk about today. If you are new here and you like seeing videos like this, then don't forget to also hit the subscribe button. So let's talk about a pair of shoes that I've definitely mentioned a lot before. And they are the Saint Laurent Tribute Slides. I'd originally purchased a dupe of these shoes. I wore them so much that I decided to splurge on the actual designer thing. And I have spotted on ASOS, they have a brand called Raid, which have a version of the sandal which has a little strap around the ankle. And I thought that they looked like a really, really similar alternative, which is right down to the details on the strap across the foot, which is something that I will note is a little bit different in most other dupes or designer alternatives that I've spotted. So I thought they were a really great one to kick things off with. Next pair of shoes I wanted to talk about are something I purchased as an alternative to the Row Farrah boots. And I actually think that those are old season or you might be able to find a pair on the outnet. If you can, I will be sure to link them below. But I came across those boots and I absolutely fell in love. They're essentially a black leather boot with a knitted sock section which comes up the shaft. And I really like that because I felt like it allowed the shoe to be really form fitting to your legs. Anyway, um, I found these ones from Port and Pear, which to me felt like a really nice alternative. They do come in other colors, and I've talked about these a lot. They have been one of the MVPs of my autumn winter wardrobe, and they're just so comfortable, so well made. They have that really nice thick tread, so they kind of lean into that chunky boot trend, uh, but I actually think these might be better than the row ones. Um, and the leather on them is really substantial and thick. These are still a bit more on the expensive side, so if you wanted something that was a bit more budget friendly, then I would also recommend a pair. I'm gonna put a photo on screen from Forever New. I thought they also looked like a really, really good alternative. It's gonna be a lot kinder on the wallet. Next pair of shoes I wanted to talk about I don't own. They are from Amina Mawadi, and as soon as I put the picture on screen, you'll know exactly the ones I'm talking about, I'm sure. They have these really beautiful embellished straps across the foot. Uh, I spotted that at Tony Bianco. They have quite a few options which look very similar and they come in some really nice metallics too. So I think if you wanted a really glitzy shoe, if you have some lovely occasions coming up, that these would be a really beautiful option. I love the sculptural uh, geometric heel. I just think that is a real standout in addition to the fact that they're fully embellished. And on that note, Tony Bianco is definitely a retailer which I would recommend checking out if you are looking to get that designer look for less because they have a lot of uh, designer inspired shoes on their site. Next pair of shoes I feel are inspired by the ATP Atelier Rosa sandals. So I'd say the defining feature of these shoes is that they have this cutout detail, uh, almost like a waved cutout detail on the leather upper. The dupe that I have isn't quite as pronounced as that, it's a bit more subtle and I actually think makes it a little bit more wearable, but they are these ones from Everlane. I think they're called the Topo sandal and they come in a couple of different colors, but a really nice, uh, easy option for the summertime. And I can speak from experience that Everlane shoes are always really well made. Um, and I have some, done some reviews on these shoes before, so I will also be sure to link that down in the description box. My favorite designer dupe of all time and one of my most worn shoes in my closet are a dupe for the Chanel two-tone pumps. I mention them all the time. They're these ones from Benelli. I have them in three different colors and they come in loads of different options. I will link these down below, but I did spot another pair which are from Atmos in here and I don't know if I'd mentioned them before, so I thought I would just let you guys know about them. They have a lizard toe cap, which I think is a really cool little detail and it adds some fun texture to the shoe, but it's just such a timeless design and 
I think I've had mine for maybe three plus years and they're still going strong so uh, I definitely haven't tired of them and they're a, they're a silhouette that I think you can expect to have in your wardrobe for years and years to come. Now Bottega shoes are definitely still probably one of the top trending items that I see a lot and I saw for this most recent season that uh, Daniel Lee designed a raffia woven mule and I think these are really cool however they look and sound really really noisy. However that said, I did again see that Tony Bianco have done a very, very similar option. So I did want to share those. Um, and I think, again, a really nice affordable way to buy into that uh, trend, which is a little bit more textural when it comes to mules. Uh, a couple of other brands which have done some very, very similar styles to the woven Bottega mules, which again, I will pop a photo up on screen so that you can check them out, are Vince Camuto and Mark Fisher. Two brands which I've purchased from before and again the quality of their shoes is exceptional. They're leather and they're really well made so you know that you are getting good value for money. Back to a pair of shoes which I own that I saw a couple of dupes for are uh, the by far Tanya Mules, which I have in the nude patent leather. I feel like this particular color was sort of trending for a while and I have to say the patent isn't as comfortable as the leather version would be. However, I know these shoes are still really popular and I understand why. They are really nice and flattering on the foot. Uh, they're kind of that belly there sandal. However, having the block heel makes them much easier to walk in. In terms of dupes, I saw a pair from Air, which come in a black leather, which I thought was really nice and a really pretty option if you just want something that is very kind of minimal and that will go with everything in your closet. Otherwise, Bellini have a nude patent option, which again is going to be one of those colors which kind of goes with everything in your closet. Okay, going back to Bottega, I feel like they've really popularized that lug boot, which is essentially a boot that has a really chunky sole. Uh, and often these styles have that really long shaft, which comes quite high up the leg. Two brands which I saw had some really similar alternatives are Elias May, and I believe this style comes in many different colors as well, so you don't just have to go for black on black. And then the other ones I saw were from Air, which I think had a slightly chunkier sole. So again, another really great alternative, and they're both leather too. Okay, back to a shoe that I own. Now, years ago, I bought a designer shoe dupe for the Gucci loafers. They were... These ones here from Sam Edelman and again I absolutely love these, 100% recommend and I do not think that you need to spend on the Gucci ones, however personally I do kind of prefer the silhouette of the Gucci ones because they have more of an almond toe. But I found a really nice dupe for the backless version of these. I think they're called the Prince Town Loafers. Let me just grab them. And they are these ones here from Charles and Keith, which come in a faux leather, and they have a slightly different chain detail across the foot. Uh, these are really nice and soft and comfortable, which has been my experience with all Charles and Keith shoes that I've had over the years, uh, and really good too if you do have wide feet, because I've had no issues with these feeling like they're too restrictive. I've got a couple of Valentino shoe dupes that I wanted to mention and actually I think it's now Valentino Garavani so apologies if I've had a little bit of a mix up but I will have the correct details in the description box. First being for a pair of sandals. Now I personally really like this style because I think it just creates a little bit of interest on your feet with all of that embellishment with the studs. Uh, Steve Madden have a really similar alternative to the Valentino ones and again they're a lot more affordable so they're not going to break the bank. The other style that I wanted to mention are the pumps that Valentino do, which have that uh, V emblem or logo across the toe. And I actually think that the dupe version is nicer because it is much more subtle and it doesn't have any obvious branding. It's almost just like it's a design detail on the shoe. The design and dupe is from June. And again, these come in loads of different colors too. Um, I think there was a really pretty green, which was my personal favorite. Next designer shoe dupe I wanted to mention is for the lock Roma sandals. Now I originally saw these on a content creator on Instagram and absolutely fell in love uh, but I think they were sold out in my size at least at the time that I was looking so I set out to find a more affordable alternative and I came across this particular pair from ASOS which I thought was a great option especially with these Thai strappy sandals I find sometimes that they can sort of slip off your feet I find sometimes the ties can come loose, so I'm always a little bit wary of spending a lot of money on a shoe like this. These ones are really nice and comfortable. They're a mix of leather and synthetic, so the straps are leather, but then the sole and the heel are synthetic, uh, which makes them really nice and comfortable. 
this tubular leather strap uh, doesn't dig in or anything like that on the foot and these are a nice option too if you have wide feet like I do. Just a couple more pairs that I wanted to share in this video. The next one being a dupe for the Marni crossover sandals. So this particular style is something that Marni has been doing for many many years. I remember back when I lived in Wellington so over seven years ago now I spotted a pair which were embellished across the toe and I was desperate to get them into my wardrobe but I think they retail for over 1400 at the time so well out of my budget um so i've spotted that a lot of brands have really started to do that very chunky sandal uh, that dad sandal trend is definitely very big right now um so i know these aren't going to be to everybody's taste but i do think they can look quite cool on the right people so in terms of brands that i've seen doing a very similar affordable alternative Air is again one and they have theirs in a few different textures so there is leather but then there's also some really fun sort of a linen textured one too which I think would be really nice if you like a lot of those soft earthy neutrals in your closet. The other brand that I saw doing a very similar pair or style was Tony Bianco and they again have a few different colours they're all in leather and there's a really beautiful cognac brown which I think is very nice for the spring summer season. Final two pairs of shoes both that I have in my closet First being these ones here from By Far. These are called the Kaya sandals and I purchased mine a little while ago from Setire. I really love these shoes and I think they're a really nice iteration of that 90s inspired strappy sandal. In terms of a more affordable alternative to these, I spotted that Solsana have a very, very similar pair and theirs are on sale. So it's a really good price, especially if you've been looking to add something like this to your wardrobe after going out. Because I don't know about you, but I have no space in my life for 10 centimeter high heels. The final pair of shoes I have, I would say are a little bit more inspired by it, as opposed to being a direct dupe, but I wanted to share them because I really love these shoes. Um, so they are a inspired by shoe shoe of the row bear sandals and again those are a really lovely 90s style belly bear strappy sandal uh, the ones that I have in my closet are these here from Charles and Keith and you'll be able to see the detail that really makes these a standout is that heel which is a bright cobalt blue with the gold accent and I just think these are really lovely they are again in a faux leather they're incredibly comfortable to walk around in I think if you're looking for a shoe that has those designer inspired elements but doesn't feel like it's an exact kind of dupe or copy then these are a really fun take on that style so that is the last pair of shoes that I wanted to mention as part of this video I hope that you found this video informative and useful and that you found a few new pairs of shoes that you really love I thank you so much for watching and yeah let me know if there are any other dupes that you want to share down in the comment section below I would love to be able to add them to the blog post that is going to be complementing this video so that it can be really extensive and helpful for you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye